You too. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Could I Change? Today we're talking about the queer counselor. Now, I can show you right here that I was be able to play these videos for you. But just like we did the other day, this account got privated. Now, I'm following them. Um, that's why you see like no bio yet or anything. When people get put on Twitter for some reason, um, they're not as strong in whatever they're saying and they, they private their whole account. So I can't play any of these videos, right? Not from here. Okay, so I'm going to play these videos um, that cause a little concern for people to go um, get on their page. So I'll play them for you here. You can enjoy them here. Big, if not the biggest question that we've been getting is how do you become a counselor at a queer summer camp? The easy answer is there's an application that goes online in like April and, and then they interview you and then you get hired. What I think is important to note is that I swear it was harder to get hired here than it was to get into grad school. Not only do we have to like build and design unique and original workshop content. I'm doing three on blackout poetry, flash fiction, and trans masculinity. Campers get here this afternoon, but I've been here for three days. We've had anti-racism and anti-bias training and mental health screenings, neurodiversity training, way more than I've ever done for public education. Because we take the health, safety, and growth of these kids very seriously. I'm surrounded by some of the most capable people I've ever met. We're here to support future queer leaders and they need guidance that, that knows what they're doing. And will I be in drag for a significant portion of the week? Also, yes. Okay, so a big, if not the big... Okay, and I'll show you the other video that gave me some cause concern. And I'm actually going to zoom in for this one for you guys. Okay, give me a second. All right. BJ, can you zoom in for me? Thank you. There we go. That'll look great. Don't judge me. I'm not here to do all that. I had an experience last night that I feel like I should tell you about. Last night, our cabin of 15 to 17 year olds went up and experienced something called the Hall of Elders, where they got to learn about the queer people who came before them that paved the way for them. There was a chance at the end for them to share, and they said something that um, I want to share with you. A few of them mentioned that they had never met a living trans adult before. And that being here at camp with us was the proof that they needed that we can make it to adulthood. A lot of them just don't have the evidence that we make it past 18. And this is sort of why you won't see cisgender or heterosexual counselors here. They need to see that we're here and we're alive and we're thriving. Surviving is such a profound demand for us. If I learned anything last night, it's that feeling guilty about not doing more for our community is kind of misplaced energy. Waking up is enough. If you're trans and you woke up this morning, every single breath that you're taking into your body is keeping me alive too. And these kids. That's enough. Good morning from Queer Camp. Here's my problem. Did you get back the camera? More. 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 My video ended in the back. Well. All right, guys. So. My problem with this individual, and they talk about, you know, doing a queer camp, and there's more videos on that. You can go check out, well, you can't go check out this uh, <laughs> TikTok because it's private. But nonetheless, I have a problem is that this is what they're teaching the kids there. This kid said that I didn't think you guys make it to 18 years old. First of all, 18 is not that old. But also, you're teaching kids that, yeah, that's the problem. A lot of us don't make it to 18 years old. What? See, you're once again, I'm pretty much saying that if you're trans, there's a good chance. The, there's a good chance you won't make it to 18 year old if you don't get to if you don't get to truly be yourself. If you don't come out and say you're a boy or a girl or anything like this, you're going to take your life at 18, even though there's no statistics or anything that says anything about that. Except for the study that we did that went over 50 years and showed that it was a very, very small percentage that did it right. Not not 40, not 30, not 20, not 10, not five, not two. OK, if you want to get uh, specific, sorry. But my point is, man, listen, I understand that sometimes it sounds like these people are trying to have good intentions, and I get that. And they say that, you know, us people who are against the trans community are talking about, oh, we try to use scare tactics and stuff like that by telling them the truth about surgeries and stuff. But you guys use scare tactics. You pretty much say that if you don't change who you are, you may not make it till tomorrow. A little kid tells you that you're not, that they're surprised that you made it past 18 and you make a whole video on it saying, oh, well. You did a good job by just waking up as a trans because we're, we're showing something to the world. What message are you sending? You're sending the message that if you don't transition, 
you will not continue to live. You'll never be happy with your life. You'll never accept that you, what body you were truly born in and learn to love yourself that way. That's not what you're teaching them. You're teaching them the exact opposite, that if you don't change exactly who you are, you'll take your life and you'll never fully accept who you truly are. That is my issue with this queer camp. And that's what I believe they're teaching these kids. And the parents that would even send their kids here have a true problem. What do you expect this kid to do? What do you expect to happen at queer camp? All they're going to learn is that, oh, I'm... I came here believing I was a boy or girl, and all they're going to do is validate that. They're not going to talk you out of it. You know, a true counseling camp would be doing that kind of stuff. Be like, hey, do you really believe this? Let's have a real conversation. And then you have some people go, you know what? I thought that I wanted to be a boy, but I'm, I'm, I'm cool with being a girl. I'm, I'm cool with being the girl that I was born as. We don't get that. We get, no. You say you say you're confused you might be want to be a boy? Just like that. Just like that, they're, they're changed over. Just like that, they're telling, you, they're telling you about how to get hormones. They're telling you about how you do this, where you need to go, um, how, you, how to not let your parents know, how to do it when your parents uh, don't accept it. They'll just teach you everything wrong, right? Well, obviously, the parents must know because they sent their kids here, I'm assuming. Uh, but once again, I have a problem with this camp, and all they're going to do is teach children to not accept who they are. But am I wrong? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Goodbye.